So I found this picture of a bridge in Singapore, and it's immediately very interesting. It's very compelling to look at because it has a certain property, and that property is called symmetry. It's a very symmetrical picture, which means if we were to draw a line straight down the middle like that, all corresponding points would be an equal distance from that line. So for example, this part of the bridge is this distance away from the line, and that same distance is the mirror image of that part of the bridge, if that makes any sense. Or maybe a clear example would be on this, um, this fence over here. This end of the fence is a certain distance away from the line, and this part of the fence, which is an exact mirror image of that, is the same distance away from the line. So we could call this our mirror line, where one half of the image is reflected across it and could overlap with the other half of the image exactly. So let's look at symmetry more specifically with geometric shapes. Get, let's get the real world out of here. No more real world. Let's look at a few different shapes here and see if we can draw lines of symmetry. And the line of symmetry is a mirror line such that if you reflected one half of the shape across it, that half would be congruent with the other half. Or to put it in more normal English, if you fold a shape along its line of symmetry, the two halves will match up exactly. Now, since I'm doing a screencast, I can't actually fold pieces of paper to show you what I'm talking about, but I'm hope, hoping you can visualize it when I draw lines here. So, for example, if I look at this diamond here, there's one place where I can put a line where then if I folded that diamond on top of itself it would overlap itself exactly and that line you can see is right there so if I were to take this upper part and bend it down this top corner would touch this corner it would make a nice little triangle okay what about this heart hearts are symmetrical you can find a, a line of symmetry there here we go yeah, right there. So if I were to fold this heart along this line, take this part, let's say, and bend it over and press against that part, it would match up exactly. The two halves would look exactly the same. Objects can have multiple lines of symmetry. For example, this sun here. There's a vertical line of symmetry. I'm just going to steal that one. Right there, so if you fold, fold the sun in half along that line, this part would match up with this part, this part would match up with this part, etc. You could also fold it this way. There's a line of symmetry. You could fold it down so this part would match up with this part. There's two more lines of symmetry in the sun. Yeah, it's getting crazy. So this corner of this ray would match with that corner, and this ray would match up with that ray. Can you see where the last line of symmetry is boom right there so lines of symmetry are we could say a very specific form of a mirror line as we talked about in the lesson with reflections in reflection you could take a mirror line and the corresponding points of the shape would be an exact distance the same distance from that mirror line so the new corner that would match this corner would be this same distance away from the mirror line. Okay? Same thing with this corner would be, let's say, if this if this is 10 units, then from here to that mirror line would be also 10 units. Well, a line of symmetry is a very specific mirror line where if the image is reflected across it, it would match up exactly. So I could actually flip this around and they match exactly.